This is a medium USGI e sappy plate. We can tell it is an e sappy This vect says 762 armor piercing M2 protection. M2 meaning 30-06 and AP meaning armor piercing. Also, it's been weighed and because it weighs roughly five and a half pounds, that would mean it is an e sappy and not a regular sappy plate. Okay, this particular one is compromised. You hear that you can hear the cracks that are in the uh, boron carbide outer plate. So because I can't use it or sell it, I decided to dissect it. They've already begun removing the outer cover. Let's see, you can see this is the boron carbide portion, and this is the ultra high molecular weight polyethylene portion. Uh, the tile portion will break the bullet, and then the polyethylene catches the bullet fragments. Oh yes, this is very badly damaged. The boron carbide looks kind of like uh, graphite, except it's much harder. Hmm. You can see what the, uh, it's approximately 0.3 inches thick. So the polyethylene portion on its own will provide limited protection of small arms. In the past, I've shot uh, one inch thick polyethylene plates that would stop 556, 762 NATO, and 762 by 39. They just wouldn't stop uh, M855 ball steel tipped uh, 5.56 millimeter. This plate is much thinner, so I don't know offhand how much protection it would provide. Okay, so this layer is basically just a sheet of plastic. It separates the polyethylene from the boron carbide. So these are individual layers of uh, laminated polyethylene that came up when I was prying this off. This type of polyethylene basically looks like sinew because it's laminated la layers that go in one direction, layered on top of each other, instead of being woven like typical fiber. In a less rigid form, polyethylene is also used to make soft armor. It's easily distinguishable from Kevlar as Kevlar is yellow.